but fit. Hi. Hi. Hey darlings. How are you? Hi. Can y'all see me okay? Hope you can. Hey Juicy Jules. What's up Forever Nisha? What up Smoke Cutie? What up Deidre? How are you? It is 11-11. Let's go ahead and go to God in prayer before I deliver a brief Sunday inspiration. Thank you, God, for a beautiful day. Thank you for love. Thank you for light. Thank you for getting us through this beautiful week. We ask that you bless us abundantly with things that we consider prosperous. We ask that you order our steps so that we don't misstep on our journey of life. We thank you for the magic that is our tongues. We thank you for the ability to manipulate energy with craft that might be sacred to some but common to us. I say thank you for my audience. Thank you for their inspiration and their compensation and allow me to feel confident in eliciting what I am getting paid to do. Thank you so much for speaking through me and using me as a mouthpiece. And uh, thank you for everybody who is inspired by my content. Amen. Ashe, whatever you say, it is okay. What's up, guys? West side in this motherfucker. As you guys can see, I am in the hot tub. I got my hair done yesterday. Um, it is currently being curled, so I have to rock like a little updo grandma silly situation. Do you guys like it? I'm going to pull it off. Don't worry about that. I'm going to pull it off. But you see how it's like coiled up? It has to be coiled up like this so the curls will stay uh, for the video. So this is a hairstyle for one shoot, and then I take it out, and there's it's so much going on. couple of announcements real quick. Tonight, 8 o'clock p.m., I teach my dream weavers course. Ooh! Um, yes, if you are a dreamer or anything like that, you want to sign up for this class. Sign up to locate it on my website. If you go to my website, it's a drop down where you can sign up. I have sent out all 73 invitations, um, so I cannot wait to see all of you on Zoom tonight. I'll be teaching you how to interpret your dreams, what your dreams mean, and uh, why we associate the word dream with an altered state of consciousness, as well as dream uh, in terms of ambition. There is a link there that I have discovered, and I cannot wait to share it with my beautiful students. So, um, if you uh, want to take the class, you're more than welcome to do that. Sign-ups are available on my website as of right now. Go to the website, click the drop-down menu, and you can sign up for the standardized price. No, it's not the standardized price. Because if you use code DREAM GANG, that's D-R-E-A-M, GANG, G-A-N-G, uh, it takes 50% off of your order. I cannot wait to teach tonight. Um, yeah, in other news, next week is going to be another busy one full of clients, uh, full of random calls from celebrities on retainer and full of recording and finishing the Boost Baker music video. So I'm really excited about that. I am booking my New Orleans trip next week as well, um, as well as my birthday trip to an exotic island that I don't know where I'm going to go. Yeah, I think I want to go to Hawaii. Um, I do want to see Hawaii before it goes under. Not saying that it's going to go under in our lifetime or anything. But I, I think I might want to go to Hawaii. I've been talking about this for a couple of years. So I plan my trips uh, or pay for them next week. I can't wait for that either. Uh, the Hollywood group chat interview is going to come out. And I'm so nervous about my performance with that. But I think I did good. I can't wait to see that. Uh, and yeah, I'm just ready to work. Stay consistent. 2023, uh, rendering some big things. I do have a meeting on Tuesday. And then I will have a final verdict for you if I decided to do this show or not. Um, regardless, I love what we've built. And I'm proud of it. And I like my flexibility, too. So we'll see what I decide. We'll see if they up the coinage. And I dedicate my life to mainstream entertainment. We'll see. Um, yeah. In other news, how am I? I'm good. I spent my entire day yesterday getting my hair done, getting it washed, getting it conditioned, making it look right. Um, had a couple of clients later on that evening. And then I don't remember going to sleep because this shit right here, nigga. Baby, the way I smoke, I don't advise nobody, okay? No shade. And I told y'all I was really, really trying to stop drinking, but it's like alcohol is everywhere. And yesterday I was out there at Casamigos, but I still managed to read that girl right. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so let's break it down into a message for today. I just had a conversation with my mother who I was going to go see today. But as you guys can see, Charlotte is a bit gloomy. Sir, come here. What's wrong with you? Come on that side. 
Sit down. What do you see, baby? What do you see, baby? Baby, don't go over there. I'm sorry, hold on. Baby, baby, come over here. Come on, come over here, baby. Sit. Come over here, baby. Come over here, baby. Come over here, Sam. Sit, sit, sit. What's, what, what, who do you, you see somebody? I love you too. You okay? Go on now, whatever it is with your bitch ass. You go over there with your, uh-uh, leave that alone. Oh, Lord. Oh. Y'all, does anybody want a giant schnauzer child? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, right here. Come right here. Show everybody how cute you look. That's my baby. Sit down, baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> Go sit down. Go to your place. Go over there and sit down. No, no, no. Put that potted plant down. I apologize. My my animal. Oh no, I got my vaporizer wet. I'm trying to get into the word, child, and I'm getting distracted by all these proverbs and verbs. I got to put this shit in the hot tub because it makes my bowels move when I get out. Okay. Move. Go. Okay. And this one right here feels like a colonic. That's what you need. That's what you need. Okay. Word of the day. And the tip jar is open for tomorrow's show. If you purchase anything throughout the weekend, bitch, you get answered on Monday. And I keep you posted on the Hollywood group chat interview. Word of the day. Desire. Everybody say it in the comment section. Um, I just got off the phone with my mother. And we had a very, very cool conversation. I was supposed to go see her today. But it's gloomy as fuck. And we both don't want to leave where we are. So uh, we're cool. We're going to talk about desire. D-E-S-I-E-R-E. -E. Um, I-R-E. D-E-S-I. These nuts. Desire. When I think of the energy of desire, I think of the incarnation of that word in the Netflix series, The Sandman. Um, desire was portrayed as an androgynous, elegant individual, played by an actor whose name I do not know, but the portrayal of that alluring, um, we lust after it. Um, it is a golden compass of what we needed as a species to populate this planet. Desire goes hand in hand with attraction. Um, when we desire something, we therefore are willing it into existence. Therefore, we are attracting it into our lives. But the first step of that is desiring what we attract. I know abstract concept, go with me here. This is not for the plebeians. This is not for the dumb. This is not for the stupid ass bitch. Okay. Desire is an incarnate or is a archaic feeling that has been generated to mankind as well as other aspects of the animal kingdom. If a plant did not desire reproduction, then how the hell is it reproducing? You can call that autopilot, but it's God's desire for it to reproduce. Therefore, it does naturally on autopilot. There's a divine intelligence behind desire. Geese have a desire not to be alone, so even though they mate with one individual, they fly as a flock or a flock of, depending on if you watch or uh, get into my tarot or anything of that nature. And I can summon flock of it, will you see it? With that being said, what is the purpose of desire in our life as of now in 2023? It serves as a roadmap to what will bring us fulfillment. That's what natural desire is. This is why when you don't eat a lot of sweets like me, you randomly start craving the sweetest thing on the menu and get a tub of ice cream, kill it, and then you don't desire it for another two months. Okay, what separates an intellectual being from a plebeian is the fact that they control the energy of desire. Therefore, creating their own individualistic roadmap to what they attract. 
Most people have desire that is uncontrolled. Therefore, when they manifest something, it's not what the fuck they want. They're stopping at desire and they're not actually conjugating that desire to what will bring you the highest good. Okay, I want a man. You got one. You desired a man. You got one, but that man cheat on you, beat you, and done took your baby girl on a joyride, and she two years old and dropped off at the plug house for another hit of that booger truck. Is that what you wanted? No, it's not. So how do we how do we capture the energy of desire and control it for our highest good? First of all, you gotta be specific about your level of attraction. Okay, and everybody knows the generic ways of attraction, you know, affirmations, but it's more so generating the feeling of already having something that you're attracting, which tailors your desire to become manifestation. You understand? I say that to say this. Most desires are given to us by people who are not us. Media. Okay. The spirit of envy. Okay, they got that, so I want that, and I don't want them to have that. That tailors your desire. You understand? Commercials, advertising, we're consistently bombarded with messages that tell us what we need to be desiring. How do we fix that? Becoming conscious that we're being told. See, desire has always been here, okay? Adam desired a partner, so God gave him Eve, if you go with the Christian dialect of things, you know. That snake had a desire to manipulate Adam, so he gave Eve the damn apple. Desire is as old as mankind. Desire is even older than mankind, because prior to mankind being here, there were animals here that desired nourishment, desired food. But see, what separates us from the animal kingdom in a, a unique way is that we're conscious of our existence. See, Mother Nature is on autopilot. You can't, no, a fish is not conscious that it is a fish living in water. It just is operating on pure instinct and desire. A dog is not conscious that he is alive. A dog is operating on instinct, forming relations based upon its intellect, but it does not know. Because we are conscious that we have existence, what we desire can also be controlled. Well, how do you control it? First, understand that desire is controllable. Okay? You got to figure out how these people go from being 600 pounds to 250 pounds. You don't think she desires a motherfucking honey bun? What my hell look like? A honey bun? She want that damn honey bun. Hell, I want a honey bun. Well, then debit cake. But she has a goal, so she tailors her desire based upon the goal that she's reached. Shout out to uh, my cousin-in-law, Maya. You know, I was the best man at their wedding, and you wouldn't believe how much weight she lost and got a BBS. She looks fucking great. Congratulations for looking phenomenal. I got to call you at your job and get on your nerves next week. But I, I say that to say this, being conscious that desire is an energy that we can control is the first step. Now, what you do with that, that's up to you. You know, some people pray to tailor their desire. Some people cast to tailor their desire. Some people believe that what they desire will never come to pass. So you don't do shit but sit there and uh, eat your food. But the context of this Sunday inspiration is to simply alert you to the fact that oh yeah your dick may be going up for that but is that good for you control that energy and tailor it to your highest good i hope this has been an inspiration to you this morning thank you
Look, no rain, no snow, no sleet, or no hail is gonna keep me out this hot tub. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day off um, by doing a facial and some esthetician works and stuff like this. Look, you'll see me tomorrow, uh, probably at 11 o'clock a.m. in the morning. If not, it'll be after my clients tomorrow. Just depends on how the spirit behooves me. If you do want to make a purchase on my website, you're more than welcome to do that. Dream big. Um, dream. I think it's Dream Big or Dream Gang. One of the goddamn two. We'll take 50% off of your class tonight. Um, I teach a class at 8 o'clock p.m. It will be an hour long. And I have researched this topic down as well as I am going to bring forth some te personal testimonials and do a couple of dream interpretations while we're in there, too. It's going to be a good class. And if you signed up for Squad Zoom last year, you should have already gotten messaged about that class that you will be in for absolutely free, 100% free, okay? Um, other than that, again, I love you guys very much. Tailor your desires because you know they can be controlled. And have a great day. I love you. Happy Sunday. Oh, and y'all ain't gonna get no Sunday food because I've been eating nothing but takeout. And I was gonna cook frog legs today. Um, that's right. Frog, bitch. Frog. Frog. Frog, bitch. Uh, frog. Honey bun frog, bitch. Yes. Um, but I got all these leftovers in there. I'm just gonna, like, eat leftovers for Sunday. Um, so expect some Boots food content, like, next week. All right, bye. All right, bye, bye.